2020 will be even more amazing, I've heard. What will Deck 13 and Deck 13 Spotlight bring to the table? Beautiful people of the internet, welcome back to Deck 13 Inside. My name is Phil and I'm here with our creative director, Jan Klose. We are here to talk about what 2019 has brought for Deck 13 and what 2020 will have in store for you. So Jan, how has this year been for the company? So many numbers, 20, 19, 19 13, 20. 20. <laughs> so the year has been uh, very, very busy. And I mean, we had our major release with the Surge 2. So um, that was exciting, but also terrifying and also terrible. Uh, getting this, this thing like to the market, getting it delivered, <laughs> pushed out of the door. Uh, no, I mean, the, the funny thing is that, that there's so much build up in the end where you try to, to make everything right and you got so much feedback already and you had already you have your, your backlists where you say, okay, there's more stuff coming in. Did we fix the right ones? Are the little ones for later? Will people maybe like this more than this? And, and you don't know. So you, you have a lot of like finishing work to, to get to the finishing line. So we are so happy and I'm so happy that we got such good feedbacks from, from players, from streamers, uh, from everybody who really, who really got a go at this game. And and uh, I think this was overwhelmingly positive and um, not yet overwhelmingly positive like the Steam <laughs> rating, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> also there, I think we had a really good rating, and, and I really like this. Uh, so uh, I think we did some things right, but also, of course, we learned a lot about what people would like to have improved and mm -hmm. what they would like to see in the future. And of course, this is what we were working on, like since the release, uh, improving stuff, um, um, pushing out updates on many platforms, which was not as easy as we thought sometimes. I mean, you know about that. We I've talked seen about it, that. Yes, I've seen and, it. And um, I think. I think still um, that we that we uh, uh, got this out of the door and it's it's really now there. It's part two. It it has happened and and now we're going on and doing more with it. Feels really really good. You've talked about streamers playing the search two and for me I think my favorite content piece was the uh, game two uh, coverage because I loved game one back in the days when MTV was actually a thing in Germany. Uh, lots of international viewers won't even know what we are talking about. This is German stuff right here. So what has been your favorite? Why is it called Game 2 then and not Spiel 2? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Spiel 2. <laughs> what has been your uh, favorite content piece produced on Search 2? Well, I was really waiting for this like honest review of Search 2 or actual review of from Search 2. From this owl guy, right? Yeah, on YouTube. From, from, from the owl person. <laughs> but, but so far, like, he didn't get back to us. What's going on? Tech 13 are really nice. But then um, I saw this one uh, from the guy, I think, called uh, Ronton. Ronton. Ronton, <laughs> yeah. Hello. The Search 2 is a German game. It is the best Souls-like I have ever played in my life. The progression system and the loot system in the, in the, in the Surge, yeah? It's so good. Hard to even put it in the world. Ah! The fact that I have to run back, yeah? The, the full distance from, when, from the boss fights to from where I die, that I have to run this back and forth each time I die, it's it's an absolute fuck ass to people. Let me put this another way for you. Combat and RPG system, 10 out of 10! The character creator, bro, you just posted cringe. In the search one, we didn't really give our protagonist a personality, so this time let's not even pretend, uh, we don't give a shit. This is what Deck Dyson said, this is what they said on the phone to me yesterday. And uh, I really liked about it that that um, the whole video was as if you have captured the little voice in my head, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this was like the little voice jumping out to the screen and screaming at me all the time, which I found very, very entertaining and, and uh, made me very happy and also a little bit sad. So 2019 was quite the busy year for Deck 13, but 2020 will be even more amazing, I've heard. What will Deck 13 and Deck 13 Spotlight bring to the table? Um, yeah, we really got a lot of stuff planned. So where should I begin? I mean, with uh, with the Surge 2, for example, there is a DLC coming out, and um, we're still working on that game, on the DLC, and and bring out another piece of content that that is very very special <laughs> and cool addition to the game, I think. Um, so so there's lots of stuff going on, also like maintaining, uh, adding to the game, and so on. I, I feel will be really amazing. Uh, also, as uh, some people know, of course, when a company finishes making a game they do not all go on vacation for two years and see how their game performs but they immediately need to work on the next one so yeah we're working on new stuff that's a new concept for you is it so tell me there is uh, something new coming up i will not tell you much about it right now but 
it'll be awesome and um, hopefully and a lot of work it All already right. is a lot of work to be honest but also we have deck 13 spotlight where we're working together with indie developers bringing their games to market and uh, there will be many releases uh, in 2020 coming from spotlight so we have war tile coming out on consoles we have cross code that already sold really well and the people really enjoyed coming out on consoles the shattering also uh, due to release in that year and also we signed some new games there some new indie titles for example resolution is now there and uh, will be released uh, next year and uh, other unannounced titles that again I'm not allowed to talk about lots but of mystery more, in this episode more coming coming up so uh, I feel like you said it will be really really busy and really fun and um, yeah let's let's see what uh, what, what else will happen because uh, every time more surprises happen in the games industry you never know at the beginning of the year and now we are almost at the end of the episode but I just want to hit on a personal note before I leave you uh, I started working here six months ago and I didn't quite know what to expect, and I've heard rumors about the gaming industries having some, let's say, difficult people around online. What are you talking uh, about? <laughs> I, know, I don't know if you've seen people. Twitter feeds of major AAA gaming studios, but I didn't quite know what to expect when I started working here, and it surprised me that Deck 13 has a pretty positive and good vibes following. So I wanted to thank you for being such great people and making my job pretty easy because it was a joy working with you for 2019 and I'm, I'm pretty much looking forward to 2020. Also, thank you very much for viewing Inside. We just created this uh, episode out of nothing, this format. And I'm very happy with how you people interact with it. We reached 1000 subs on this channel and I'm thankful. Thank you very much for your time, your attention, your comments, your likes, your subs. And I'm happy to see you guys next year. Please check out the latest episode right here or the playlist right here. And we will see you guys in 2020. Thanks for a great year. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.